let's change the energy of the word Corona right now. When I say the word Corona, what does it do to you? You get fearful, you get anxious, there's great panic. Now, this is the most often used word in today's times. Our internal dialogue is all about the Corona. Our external dialogue is all about the Corona, be it the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, radio, the news, our friends and our family. Now, science proves that each word has a frequency, each word has an energy. It sends impulses to the brain and we produce corresponding chemicals. And that's how the alchemy of our body changes and we start to feel happy, sad, disturbed or panicked. Now, can you imagine what we are doing to our body on a daily basis these days? So let's change the energy and the frequency of the word Corona. Now, perhaps you know that the actual meaning of the word Corona is the crown. The virus has crown like spikes on it and hence it's called the Corona. But did you know that the outer layer of the sun, the outer atmosphere of the sun is also called the corona, the stellar corona. It has a beautiful golden ring, but we can never ever see that ring because the sun is so bright that we're blinded by its light. But when the sun goes through the solar eclipse, when it goes through complete darkness, we can see its beautiful stellar corona in its golden light. So think about it. We humans are actually going through exactly the same thing. We're going through complete darkness. And if we allow ourselves, we could actually see our own true light. We have been so blinded by our lifestyles. We have been so blinded by our penthouses, our cars, the fast paced life, our bank accounts. We have been so blinded in celebrating the wrong heroes, the wrong heroines. Have we truly stopped and celebrated the ones who truly matter? Our farmers, our healthcare providers, our doctors, our nurses, our police, our teachers, our elders, our seniors. So the virus is here to actually make us go through dark times, but to also see what truly matters. And what truly matters today is kindness, is love, is generosity, is oneness, that we are one, and most importantly, love and simplicity. Today, what we really want is each other, to tell each other that I'm here for you, and it's all going to be fine, to celebrate the simple things in life, so the next time you think of the word Corona, think about your true light, your wisdom. And the wisdom is all about oneness, kindness and love.